Hey guys, I got my coffee. We're ready to go. This is how we start everything with coffee. Doesn't matter what time it is because it's always time for coffee. So the question is, how do you make money for films with t-shirts? And it's not how you might think, but I'm going to tell you how I do it. So basically this is the answer that is not through another company. So this is going to be a DIY situation and I will leave links below to where you can get these things and you can do it yourself. It doesn't take a lot of, uh, doesn't take a lot of room. So even if you have a small place, no garage, whatever, just set up a little area, you can do this. So, um, yeah, so we're going to go make some t-shirts and, uh, there'll be links below where you can buy, oh, yeah. I have one on right here. So this is for a future film that we're doing called uh, The Coop. And uh, so yeah, this is one of the shirts that, uh, that we do sell. And you can see all the shirts that, that I sell. And if you notice something, these shirts are one color. So this is a one color screen. And there's a reason for that because if it's more than one color, then you can't really do what I'm saying without having space. So that's part of the deal. Because one color, it's one swipe. And that's what you can do if you have a small space. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is this is my space. I don't know if you've seen this space before, but if you haven't, you can go to the first video that says Kyle's first video. And then I walk through this whole thing and you see the setup and whatnot. Okay, so this is my cutting table. This is where I do lots of like cutting, measuring, things, creating. This is also where I do the t-shirts. So, uh, so what do you need like to do this one screen t-shirt? Not a lot. Okay, so basically you need t-shirt blanks. Duh. Am I right? Okay. So you need t-shirt blanks. We got that. You are going to need a squeegee. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a link down below to all this kind of stuff that you can get on Amazon. So you don't have to search for it. Just click on the link. I will have a list of all these kind of t-shirt making stuff. So one thing that you can't get is I believe you can't get this on Amazon. So what this is, this is just MDF. So MDF is medium density fiber board, if you didn't know what MDF stood for. So, um, so this is going to be basically you slip a t-shirt over this to give yourself a backing. You will notice the ink spot on this. This has been used before. So, all right. So I have three t-shirts I'm going to do. So I have three of these blanks that I have already cut. And um, by the way, so I, I cut this, so you kind of, you cut it with a little bit of a curve so that you can slip t-shirts over it. And that way you don't like basically rip holes in the shoulders of the shirts with the points. So you just kind of give it a little neck, like bend that over, no big deal. All right, so you're gonna need also some t-shirt clothing printing ink, Permaset. This stuff is amazing, not a sponsored video. So, uh, but Permacent is what I use on all my shirts and, um, and they, it lasts a really long time. So if you've gotten a shirt from me, this is the stuff that it is. And I'll also have a link below where you can get this stuff. So Permacent, easy peasy. You put it, uh, you do, you do this, this slide, you throw the t-shirt in the dryer and, um, the heat sets the ink on the shirt and, and that's it. So good stuff. So you are going to need a brush just like this to clean your screen directly after you do it. Because if you let your screen set up, it's going to dry in there, gunk up, and you're going to be bummed out because then you just blew it and you have to get screen cleaner and you have to, and that never works. So you just wasted a screen. So what you can do as far as screening, I was, cause I don't know what city you're in. So just like call around in a city, find out where you can get like one of these screens made. So this is, I don't know if you can see this here, but this is the, uh, the Vig Vasir, um, screen, which is, uh, the Viking good luck symbol that, uh, it's like safety and travels basically through all weather. It's, it's a, it's a good luck symbol. So, um, I wear it all the time. It's sold a lot of these, lots of good luck going on out there. So anyway, today we're going to do two of these and one of the father gun, the Holy ghost, which is the preacher six. And I'll show you that right now. So I'll give close-ups of these. If you can't see this, this is the Father of the Gun and the Holy Ghost t-shirt. This is a fundraiser we did for Preacher 6, which we're still selling, still raising money to finish the film. So if you want to buy one of these to help us uh, finish the film, 
that will be awesome too. And below you will see an Etsy link where I have all these t-shirts for sale and you can help us finish these films and do the films into the future. So support the films and get a shirt and I'll show you how to make it right now. All right, so first things first is we gotta put the t-shirt on this. See, that's how the rounded corners happen. And so it just slides right over. Easy peasy. You pick it up like such. Make sure it's hanging straight so that when your screen goes on, it is also straight. Do that twice more. Just like that. Two more. Okay. So your next step is going to be to get the screen up here. All right, so this is the uh, the Father Gun and the Holy Ghost screen. You wanna you wanna line it up because you're only going to get one shot to do this. So you just you know where the center of your screen is, and you line it up on the center of your neck, and uh, you just do it just like that. So you got your line here. At the base, that's why these are these boards that you have are also good because it helps to line up the actual screen. So that's good too. So this shirt is lined up. We're gonna screen the first one, and then you basically pick it up and you put it down the other real fast, and you screen that one. So basically, so once you start screening these, it's a pretty quick process because you can only do so many before the screen and the ink starts to get kind of weird and dry and so you gotta do this fast. Oh yeah, there was one thing that I forgot to say that you needed, and that was a throwaway plastic knife to put this on, to put the t-shirt ink, the screen ink on the form. So let's do that. And what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna not get it on the cap like I just did, because then you're gonna have to clean it up. So I'll go clean this up real quick, hold on. All better. Okay, so put things far away from the shirts so you don't screw them up as you're going. All right, so basically what you wanna do now is you wanna get a good amount of the ink at the top of the screen here because you want it to fill the whole, whatever your image is, you want it to fill that image and get into the shirt. So, now, normally you'd want to do, you know, a whole bunch of shirts at the same time um, because of all of, because of how much effort it takes to do all this stuff. But I'm just doing this to show you how to do it. So, okay. So this screen, that's probably enough to do a couple of shirts. All right. So we got one of these and two of those. Always keep the lid on so it doesn't dry out. Make sure you've had enough coffee before you screen shirts. Let's do this. So you're gonna wanna fill, you're gonna wanna fill that screen with the ink and you wanna press down pretty, pretty substantially so that you know that it gets into the t-shirt material. Just like such. Do that just like that. Voila! So that's one image. Now I know that I have to do this shirt right here. So then you come and you line it up just like you just did. This takes some practice, but you'll get it. It's just like that. All right, so you can see how I do that a few times. That's just to make sure it's down in the t-shirt ink. Take that one off. Voila, you have another one. And you gotta hurry for this next one because now you have a screen drying while this is going. So, you fill that as much as possible, just like that. Now the Father Gun, the Holy Ghost, is screened. 
Make sure you get all the ink off of there so you don't waste it. Okay, then put the rest in there. Voila, just like that. Father the Gun and the Holy Ghost. You see that? That's right, that's right. Okay, now I gotta clean the screens. Okay, so the next step is to put these suckers on hangers so that you can put them in the dryer and dry them all the way. But they have to be dry enough to put in the dryer so you don't get the dryer red. So air dry first, then put them in the dryer on hot. Voila. Okay. That is a, uh, a big Vasir shirt. So this is going to someone. And um, so yeah, these shirts are actual orders. So now these shirts are famous shirts. I should probably round the bottom corners too, just because of that, what you just saw. So yeah, another big this year women's cut. Just like that. And that is the Father Gun and the Holy Ghost shirt. And um, so that's how you screen t-shirts and try to make money uh, for movies. And so if you want one, please grab one because everything helps. Thanks guys, hope that helps out. Gives you some ideas on how to make money for your films or for whatever artistic endeavor you are trying to do. So good luck, keep going. Because uh, the only way that it doesn't happen is if you stop or if you quit. So don't quit, keep going, let's make this happen. Cheers, salud, skull, slanja. Oh, I don't know, you're still there. Thanks for watching, guys.